Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to re-enter the NFL's top 100 greatest players of all time. I want to welcome you back to the series. I've probably had about a week off. We really smashed through those first 50. And the next one was number 54, Forrest Gregg. Forrest Gregg, what a name. So we're going to crack into it. I want to welcome you back once again. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. I really do. Me and my video editor have teamed up. We've got a good thing going. There's going to be plenty more content to come. We've got 54 more players, guys. Forrest Gregg, number 54. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Elvis Forrest Gregg. Born October 18th, 1933, is a former American football player and coach in the NFL, the Canadian Football League and the NCAA, a Pro Football Hall of Fame offensive lineman for 16 seasons. He was a part of six NFL championships, five of them with the Green Bay Packers, before closing out his tenure with the Dallas Cowboys with a win in Super Bowl VI. Greg was later the head coach of three NFL teams, the Browns, the Bengals and the Packers as well as two Canadian football teams, the Toronto Argonauts and the Shreveport Pirates. As a player, he was a member of six world championship teams, as they said, five of the Packers and one with the Cowboys. As a head coach, he led the 1981 Bengals to the Super Bowl, where they lost to the 49ers by a score of 26 to 21. Jeez, what a career. He has done it all. Let's find out what he's up to. If you look at the coordination of his feet and hands, which is a sign of a great lineman. Deacon. Or a great football player, basically. But when you get into Greg, his arm reach, the way he positions himself, his action from left to right. The guy was just fantastic. His movements would cause you a lot of problems. What I mean is putting that helmet in your chest and them feet working and he drives. Let's have a look at that again. Best drive blocker I ever seen. This is back in the 60s, remember? I want to see this. Oh, he's on, he's on his feet. What I mean is putting that helmet in your chest and them feet working and he drives you out of that hole. He's the best drive blocker I ever seen. He's got power. He's not like oh, nobody. shit. You know, I hit, go upside that head with them hands. And then, you know, I'm done with him. He ain't gonna be much of a problem that day. Not him. Boys, Greg, you gotta fight for 60 minutes. I ain't gonna get no better than that. I mean, I ain't gonna get no tougher than that. So he had great instincts for a lineman back in the 60s. See, this is what amazes me about all these old guys is that most of them, or at least the ones that are on this list anyway, because there's only 100 players in history to be on this list, but, um, it, they, they, they always were ahead of their time, you know what I mean? If they were back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, when the Super Bowl was first created or in the first 10 years, they had something that they brought to the game that was just ahead of everyone else. And that is something that a lot of current players probably model their games on. So it's just interesting, especially when a player has a 16 season career and then goes on to, to coach three NFL teams and he must be about 80 years old now so let's hopefully we get a, a hopefully we get a little snippet of him talking so we can see what he's or what he sounds like i always like hearing what they sound like but in this series each player is narrated by a different person and usually all you hear is a snippet of their voice you don't actually hear them you don't actually see them talking sorry so let's see what happens the difficult seal off block perfect taylor gallops through the gap Green That's a flop if I ever did see one. Oh, you know, I've been lucky. Oh, I've there he is. All years, and, and we've never really had anybody to come in and run us out of a job. I'm really thankful for that. During his 15 seasons in Green Bay, Forrest Green was beast. described by Vince Lombardi as the finest player he ever coached. One reason for such praise may have been Greg's flawless execution of Lombardi's favorite play, the Packer Power Sweep. When Vince Lombardi first came to Green Bay, he drew that play on the board. And he told us almost everything in our offense came off of that sweep. If we're going to be successful, we've got to make this play work. 
If the end has a linebacker taken in, he will come around it and seal inside. If you look at this play, what we're trying to get is a seal There he is. And a seal here. And try to run this play in the alley. Nice. Daylight. Go, son. Give the lateral. <laughs> what? That's not him, is it? He did not just chase down that running back. My side. No, no, no. Hell no. We're going to watch that again. <laughs> Where is he? 75. Or is that 76? Nah, he's down. He's down. <laughs> There's 76 that comes in. <laughs> I didn't think he was that fast. That's some great support play by his teammate, though, I've got to say. On my side, I pulled with the guard and picked up anything that was filtering through. On the Packers sweep, Forrest block was the most important one because Forrest has got to get there into the hole as soon as... Go, he Forrest! And he was so great at that. Those linemen, man, they throw their body on the line played, uh, for the running backs. They really do. I got respect. He's fundamentally sound getting off the ball, coming off the football. Hey, there you go. He got one. Really get ready to play a guy like Paris. And they put a lot of work in. I mean, there's nobody like that. You look at some of his tapes, and you'll see a fundamentally sound tackle. And that's what put him in camp. Hall of Fame. Sounds like he was destined for the Hall of Fame from the first moment he got in the league. Now, let's just have a quick read here. He was six foot four and 113 or 115 kilos. I never know exactly what their, their playing weight was when I, when I read this though, because sometimes it's their weight currently, although you never know when this has actually been updated. So he's a three time Super Bowl champion, in Super Bowl one, two, and six. He was a key player. Sorry, this is annoying me. I'm going to have to bring it up. Yeah, we're good. We're good? All right, we're good. K Greg was a key player in the Packers dynasty of head coach Vin Vince Lombardi that won five NFL championships and the first two Super Bowls. He played mostly at right tackle, but also filled in at guard. Greg earned an Ironman tag by playing in a then-league record 188 consecutive games in 16 seasons from 56 to 71. When he finished, when he retired, <laughs> it was still 19 years until I was born, guys. This is some history. This is some history. As a coach, he went straight into coaching. He finished at the Dallas Cowboys in 71. He went to the San Diego Chargers from 72 to 73 as an offensive lineman coach, which is, <laughs> you know, it's, that seems pretty obvious. One of the best offensive linemen in history. Cleveland Browns, 74, and from 75 to 77 as the head coach. Toronto Argonauts, Cincinnati Bengals from 1980 to 83. Green Bay Packers, 84 to 87. SMU, which is the SMU must, Southern Methodist University. And he finished at the Shreveport Pirates in Canada from 94 to 95. Whoa, okay. Well, he was an offensive lineman. I gotta say that they don't float my boat as much as a running back would, but they're still an integral part of the game. And if I was a running back on the field, I would be loving my offensive lineman. If I was a quarterback, I'd be loving them. If I was a wide receiver, yeah, I'd be loving them because you need the quarterback to be open to make a good pass. So they're an integral part of the game. It's just like forwards in the game of rugby. Sometimes they don't get as much glory as, as your skilled players, but everyone knows when the team wins, when you're in that changing room, everyone knows how important they are. So anyways guys, if you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll be back for number 53, Willie Lania. All in good time. So I'll see you then. Peace out.